met by the Beastmaster, they get no damage on that tower. Yeah, and Fada trying to get aggressive here in this mid lane. Oh, but he's trying to make careful. advantage of this draw, but he's going to get on. It's coming in from behind, bleeding with the Hex, and nice shackle shot set up by Weehaw. They're going to have the follow-up, but Kuro is here with the heals. He has to shout great for the very first! Whoa! Kuro doesn't even attempt the shout grave that could have saved Fada's life. Try again with this bottom lane push. The boar will be able to pull the creep wave off, and that's why they really need to kill it immediately. We'll be able to get back here to the enclosing creep wave, but my control being controlled up. Eternal Envy gets the kill there. What a rotation by him. But Eternal Envy's still gonna go into the jungle. They've, look at this. Like now they yeah. switch Pyoth to the safe lane, and this, this is why is they've been beautiful. picking the lion. He's now level six. He's even gonna go bottom as the summer man. The TP out, but that's going to be solved. Oh, maybe not. The silence is there, but the Primal Roar comes just out in time. They have the Shell Grave, but Tumba Man's going to start backing himself away. They have the Scorched Earth as well as the Poison to make sure that Tumba Man does end up dying. Poppy is pretty far forward here, but they're going to still try and catch him. He turns around looking for the Doom. He finally gets it off on the bottom. Oh, and the Turtle Heavy comes back into the fight to make sure that Jairus goes down as well. Secret take full control of the Tier 1 tower on top of everything else. They're even trying to run down another hero. Eternal Envy, though, is not going to be able to get there, but the tackle shot will be. Fana gets locked down, taken out. Zero and five, Team Secret. An amazing start here in game number four as they make the run for the championship. A big of this and continue to get farmed. That Necro 2 is short to follow. Uh, Eternal Envy is kind of just walking around, creating space for his team. He's way too tanky to be isolated out, too. They're trying to fight him here. Right. Eternal Envy. Jarek is only level 4 right now. He has a pounce up in a second, should be able to get away. Still has a Shadow Dance ready yeah. to go as well. There's and just the no conceivable scenario where Lick would kill him there. Yeah, Kuro even rotated over briefly. But a Dazzle's not really going to be able to make anything happen. As the Shackle uh, latches, Fada's going to get gone on. Beautiful stun lock. Fada's yeah. taken out. And there goes the finger of death on Kuro as well. Needs to be able to get off the Shell Grave. Will be able to just in time but Liquid can actually turn on these here as well. Maybe Kyla dies. Quickly sidesteps that Impale will be able to kill him. Mind Control is cold. controlled up, so he didn't actually get off a good opportunity for a Chronosphere whatsoever. Yeah, that's the first kill of the game for Liquid, but again, Secret are just splitting them around the map, running them ragged. Everybody continuing to farm on Secret as the mini engagements are work working out for them right now. Look at Eternal Abbey, he wants to force this, and He's doing so successfully. Mind Control actually has to head on back to the base at this point in time. Yeah, Weeha not even going to get close to getting caught by that. And the mid tower is being taken by Misery. But uh, trying to land a Sun Strike on Misery does actually land it, but it's not enough to get the kill. And now he'll die to Eternal Envy as another successful rotation from Secret. They just seem unstoppable at this point. Yeah, he's almost got Necro 3 at 14 minutes into the game. Oh, with the Beastmaster Hawk, they spot out Kuro, Puppy. He's going to try and force another one. They have the uh, pounce to be able to block Kuro in. He doesn't even get off the shell. Grave. But Tumba Man's got to be careful, too. His secret are just running rough shot right now over Liquid. Can take out one of these heroes real quickly. Jungle's a bit split. Secret are spread. They take out the Courier first. Now Team Liquid know that they're in some sort of bind here as they're being surrounded by Team Secret. There's no getting out of this. They're going to go fight. try and get the Doom. Then does go off. Well, they get off the Chronos Gear, but it's still Eternal Envy. Goes straight from Matumba Man. The TP's out from Fada. He knows this fight cannot be won, but the Primal War stops him. This could be Liquid all dying as Spy Control's the only one to be able to get away to the side and TP out. It looks like Jerry's going to go down as well as Puppy runs him down. 1 to 13. Team Secret. The right for Secret right now is, and they're going to just continue to play off the farm game, even without too big of a major engagement. 12k oh, nice. off the Shackle Land. We are the signature hero. He's going to be able to control my control almost long enough to get the kill. He gets a time walk and back up to full HP, but he needs still go down. Time walk into the trees to TP out, and Eternal Heavy can't get his claws on him. But over the mid lane, Pylai Dai is actually going to be surrounded. That's life number two now, as Liquid finally get themselves another kill. If you're Liquid and you want to win this game, it has to just, it's going to come as a grind. It has, it's got to be one kill at a time. Liquid has to stop time is what Eternal Envy is currently getting. Again, not even a shallow grave use. Matamba Man's going to be able to be in here, but Eternal Envy knows he can fight. He has the Aegis, and some of his allies are rotating over.
Liquid are so scared to engage that Slark right now. Eternal Envy has free reign once again. My control, is he actually gonna go for it? Yeah, he does. He's got Misery locked in. Fafana using they Spike Force to start laying up damage. Gets the Deathwing Flash out. Eternal Envy comes in from behind. And Fafana's actually gonna die first. Yes, my control gets the kill on Misery, but is he actually gonna be able to get out? He cannot afford to lose the rest of his mana. He's able to time walk away, but Eternal Envy is oh, just not pairing. He charges that tier two. He was like, I'm just gonna farm instead. Neither of the supports have that either, and it's secret. Begin their mess. Assault Love the top. Each. He just leads the charge here, forcing somebody to turn and fight him, but Liquid full out retreat. They get some damage onto Eternal Envy. The Shadow Dance goes down the right hand side. Kuro's actually going to be locked up in a shackle shot. Weehaw with the double damage. Weekly finishes him off. He's going to win run back. Uh, with the DD rune, there's no way that Liquid want to contest this, and the top tier 2 is going to go down. Weehaw with his blink daggers oftentimes been more than enough with the shackle shot, and if it isn't that, it's just Puppy running at them. He's going to do right now to Kuro. Runs right into him. Wants to be able to hit the Centaur Samba and actually doom up Kuro to make sure, again, there's no Shadow Grave response. And Eternal Envy's just daring Liquid to kill him at this point as the Aegis is going to expire soon. Yeah, they're going to get this tier 2 tower before anything. This might be one of the quicker double secret. Because Secret knows that it takes Liquid way too long to just kill him. The rest is Secret coming forward. The Blink Dagger's ready to go on the three. They've got the vision too. They're going to be able to lock down the top of Man the follow up. Shackles on actually catch the in the back run. They get the snowball, able to provide a save there to the Drone Ranger, but they're still lacking damage. A good meteor deafening blast combination, but Secret are just too damn big as they push forward. Mind control with a saving chronosphere to try and help the rest of its allies get the hell out of dodge, but it's just not going to happen. They've lost three already and looks I like fourth with the Jerry blocks. Beautiful play there from Pi. Once again, the Lion King. Proves that they take one fight, they win it, and Highlight Eye is always there to be able to find the extra kill. Rack's gone at just 24 minutes into the game. They're going to immediately get out with nothing lost. Probably wait for the next Rax to... After that, I think Seeker just wait for Roshan and continue to take objectives. And Eternal Envy, the demon that he is, he's going to go for Kuro. The crowd, they can feel it. They want to see this kill happen. They want to see Eternal Envy go for the one versus three play. And he will go for it. Kuro immediately the target of the Shadow Grave goes off first. Eternal Envy like is now battling it out with four heroes. But now Puppy's going to be able to join them. He gets the doom on him on top of mana. Snowball save for the moment being. But Eternal Envy's already cleaned up two. And now the chase begins. How many other heroes can they get out? Nice long range ice shards from Jerex. He knows he's giving up his own life. But he manages to save Matumba Man by blocking in Eternal Envy. Yeah, and the Sunstrikes are going to fall too. But... Still not enough. Another shackle shot. Weehaw. He showed it big in oh, the invoker play from the end of the game. But now Weehaw is going to be able to make sure it's a total wipe. And there it is. Congratulations. Team Secret take game four in one of the most dominant fashions we've seen in the grand finals. 100% of the way. Every single time Jackie showed himself. The crowd went wild for him. Weehaw is going to be able to make sure it's a total wipe. And there it is. Congratulations, Team Secret take Game 4 in one of the most dominant fashions we've seen in the Grand Finals. They were denied their first turn at Frankfurt, but they're successful here in Shanghai behind a crowd who are absolutely behind this team. 100% of the way, every single time Jackie showed himself, the crowd went wild for him and for all of Team Secret. And the fan favorites do take it. That makes Puppy, out of the Majors and TI, the first person to be able to win to an unbelievable field of competition. And it's only fitting that a captain like Puppy takes it in the end. This jungle draft, nobody was able to figure it out at this tournament, but and the analysts called it. They felt like this was going to be the biggest outdraft so far in this series. Well done by them. A mastermind of strategy, Puppy, he proves it here, leading Team Secret to a victory here in Shanghai. Yeah, nothing but smiles and hugs from both sides is Liquid being gracious in defeat. And with that crowd roar, that brings the end for us here at the casting desk. I'll allow our analysts to watch as Team Secret claim their trophy.
And we are back indeed as we are waiting for a winner's interview as well. But what a game that was. I think it is only fitting to see Team Secret end with such a dominant game as they did. Truly, your Shanghai Major Champions. I think the draft kind of set it all for the last game, right? That was some serious outdraft by Puppy. You got to give him credit. And it's like Will was saying, they really didn't know how to adjust to it. And I think they kind of... At the end of the draft, I feel like they kind of panicked with the draw pick. They didn't really have any options left, and it was just one of those situations where you just got to...